The WISE channel celebrates African Americans who did amazing things. After a long day of work in Montgomery, Alabama, Rosa Parks sat in the back of the bus to go home. Back then, there was a law that black people had to sit in the back of the bus and the front was only for white people. Soon the bus became full and there were no seats left when a white man got on the bus. The bus driver told all the black passengers to stand up and give their seats to the white man. But Rosa wasn't having it. She was tired of being treated like she was not important just because her skin was brown. The other black passengers gave up their seats, but Rosa stayed there and did not move one inch. By refusing to give up her seat for a white man, Rosa broke the law. The police arrested her and took her to jail. She was ordered to pay a fine for breaking the law, but Rosa wasn't having that either. She refused to pay the fine and said that the law was wrong and she was right. The news about Rosa Parks spread quickly and black people from all over joined together. They decided to boycott the bus system. That means they would all stop riding the bus because they thought the laws were unfair. Back then, a lot of African Americans did not have cars, so they had to carpool together or walk everywhere they went. Leaders like Martin Luther King helped organize and encourage all the people who boycotted the bus. The bus boycott lasted for over one whole year. Since African Americans made up around 70% of bus riders, the bus system lost a lot of money. They still didn't change the law. But on November 13, 1956, the Supreme Court ruled that Alabama's laws were wrong and against the Constitution. That means after 381 days of African Americans carpooling or walking everywhere they had to go, they could finally sit anywhere they wanted to sit on the bus. The boycott was over and it worked! It wasn't all good after that. Rosa lost her job because she stood up to the unfair law. She also had to move away from Alabama because so many people threatened to hurt her very badly or worse. But that didn't stop Rosa. She moved to Virginia, then Detroit, where she continued to fight for equal rights. Rosa Parks died in 2005, which means even though her story seems like it happened a long time ago, we're closer to history than we think. Let's talk. What gave Rosa Parks the courage to stay in her bus seat? Why do you think some people wanted to hurt Rosa Parks after she helped change the law? If you were an African American on the bus that day, would you give up your seat or stay put like Rosa Parks? Why? Have you subscribed to the WISE channel yet? If not, do it right now and make sure you hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our new videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.